guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And welcome back to um, my week ahead spread. I haven't done these in months, 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 probably over a year now. Um, I, If you're just tuning in to my week ahead spread, I do the energy obstacle advice for the week. Um, I haven't used the unfolding path tarot in a minute. And it's been so gross and gloomy and disgusting lately that outside that I needed pretty <laughs> and this is the mass market version by Hay House by a thing Noctua Noctua um as you can see I've already pulled the cards I usually do a meditation pull the cards and then see where we go from there uh so yeah without further ado let's get this on the road show on the road shall we um so for the energy of the week I pulled the magician uh, the magician, and I love how he's got his hands open. Um, makes me think of Native American. I love the eyes here. They're like purple to match the backs. Um, the magician basically says, do whatever makes you happy. Um, you have all the tools at your disposal in your hands to do and create whatever you choose. Um, yeah, that's what I get from the energy for this for this week. It is Monday, G January. I don't know. I don't know why I keep trying to say June or July. It's January twenty second. I think it's the twenty second. Twenty second. Yeah, twenty twenty three, twenty twenty four. Excuse me. Uh, on Monday. And if you guys resonate with any of this, let me know in the comments. Um. So yeah, I see the magician. This is a week of creating and uh, having everything at your disposal that you need um, to create whatever you want. Uh, whatever makes you happy. Uh, so then we have the obstacle of the week. We have the five of swords. And you know what? That is the deacon we just entered was the five of swords uh, for Aquarius one. That's interesting that that is the, and that to me, um, and I like how they're both purple or blue in the background, bluish purple in the background. That's interesting. Um, they both have brown and they both have blue or purple, whatever that color is. Um, I find it interesting on this five of swords that there's almost like imprints in the background of like a, there was a bomb went off or whatever. And it's almost like the imprints of the people, from the bomb blast in the wall, which is, I find it interesting. And she looks like she's been through some stuff, like blowed up, whatever. She's barefoot. Um, she's got filth all over her dress, but she's the victor. Um, or she's what's left of everybody messing up everybody. And she's carrying all the swords, taking on the act of picking up all the swords that didn't get burnt in the blast or whatever uh but i see the five of swords as something that you can go either way with you could either choose to wallow in it or you can choose to move on from it and it depends on i think the cards before and the cards after what that card decides if that makes any sense so you can choose to be the vector in this or you can choose to be the the images plastered on the wall and just give up um i think that's the crux of the five of swords is you need to decide is it going to be a week filled with pain and regret or is it going to be a week full of victories um interesting and then for the uh obstacle i mean the advice of the week oh we got temperance find balance and again we've got the same kind of similar colors these are all look alike <laughs> She's actually got the, looks like the top color of the dress and then the brown. And then there's a little bit of the blue down here in the bottom. Interesting. So it's kind of the similar, very similar colors. Um, and again, temperance is saying, find your balance. If you find your balance, the five of swords won't matter. Honestly, it won't. But the five of swords is also asking you to find that balance between good and evil, bad and good good luck bad luck whatever the the case may be uh so i found that quite interesting so let's look at the book and see what it says I never look at the book books magician 
And that was for the energy of the week. Self-empowerment, action, power, manifestation, creation, will, intention, and expensive energy. Expensive energy. So right off the bat, when we have this um, magician, uh, it's telling you what is the intention of the week. Because you have all the tools to create whatever reality you want. It could be good. It could be bad. It could be balanced. Um, but you have all the tools at your disposal to create whatever intention you, you choose. Everything you could possibly need to achieve your goals you already have within you right now. The magician is here to remind you that you are the magic of the universe brought to life. Your focused will, used as a driver for your actions, has the power to manifest your dreams. The creative energy of all four elements flows through your wrists and, or veins, and the possibilities they offer are infinite. How will you use this energy today? With such great power at your fingertips also comes the awareness that you carry complete responsibility for determining your own fate. And I just said that. The power is you, yours. Now use it. See, <laughs> the magician is telling you, you have the power to make this week bad. You have the power to make it good. Let's decide what we're doing here. Um, so then we have the five of swords. I don't know what that was. Wands, cups, swords. Five of swords, and this is in the... Uh, obstacle uh, defeat conflict cost hollow victory there can be no wi winners in this situation even if you win in this disagreement or conflict you stand to lose far more than you may be willing to bear you may walk away with nothing gained and with an aching sense of sadness and loss it could also cost you the trust and respect of others leaving your dignity in tatters and yourself isolated this card is a warning to temper your aggression. Don't let yourself be lured in by combative situations and learn to pick your battles wisely. Pursuing this path may well lead to ruin and self-destruction. So it's almost like, yeah, she's what's left of this great battle and nobody else survived. Both sides equally lost. Um, and she's what's left picking up the, less, the, the swords. Interesting. Um, and then we have temperance. If I can find her. And this is in the advice spot. Moderation, balance, tranquility, blending, peace, alchemy, patience, thoughtfulness. It's time to return to the middle. Where is there an imbalance in your life? Have you been overdoing it in one area and neglecting another? Being overly focused on one thing can have negative consequences. Now is the time to apply the magic of alchemy. Merge and blend your contrasting aspects, ideas, goals, and roles to bring harmony and peace by missing different talents, mixing different talents, options, or desires. You can create something new and beautiful. Moderate yourself and with thoughtfulness and patience, walk the center path. Can you find a way to cooperate and compromise. So that's beautiful. That's a beautiful reading this week. There's no, I mean, the five of swords. Yeah. <laughs> but in all in all, this is a, it, it's a week of empowering yourself and finding your balance. Right. Um, that's what I see here. So yeah, if you guys, uh, resonate with that, let me know in the comments this week. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And y'all have a good afternoon. Bye.